I'm Troy Ruffin. We're here in Mason, Texas on our family farm we call Ruffin Sheep Station. We raise fine wool cross and fine wool club lamb. Well, you know, we're a rural-based small community here in Mason and we're 4-H and FFA. It's a ranching background in this community and we try to use 4-H and FFA projects to introduce kids into the farming and ranching and the responsibility and the activities that go along and help them develop into young adults. We try to sell as many as we can into the 4-H and FFA club land market. Um, it's just more premium. And besides, it's something that we've grown up doing. It's something our family's grown up doing. It's something we want to participate in. We hold full-time jobs away from the farm. Time is, is the most precious thing that we have. We never have enough time. And so with EID and visual ID tags that we can actually see without having to go and actually capture the animal, it's, it, helps us, it helps us that way. We use it for inventory and we also add, we, it helps us when we're putting groups together when we're doing selection. Because we single sire and hand mate most of our use, it allows us, it allows us to quickly sort those better. We enjoy it, you know, it's a way that we can, you know, our place, we don't have a huge place. And it's a way that we can have enough livestock that we can, we can make some, it, it gives us some quantity to manage and to, and to produce in that way, you know, because it's about a numbers game, basically. You know, there's a minimum number that you can have, in, you know, in order to be very productive and have enough to sell. Um, it's been a great venue to raise our family, raise my children through. Uh, it's taught them things that they go on out in life. You know, we talk about responsibility, but as they traveled around the United States, they got to meet, they got, they got to meet new people and they got put in positions to where they had to step out of their, out of their comfort zone. And as both of my children have gone on in their adult life, they found that that's been a huge advantage for them. We hope that one of the children, this is honest, we hope one of the children, when they get to where they're ready to start their family, they want to take this group of ewes and go on with them. And that's what we want, help them, help them do that. And hope that the, our grandchildren were able to participate in, a in the same programs that we were and our kids were.